can do this anytime. Hey, tell me first of all where you were and how you discovered these. Well, I, could, I can't, you know, name the road exactly because I really don't know the road. It's just um, in a canyon going down a hill. And my mom had dropped me and a friend off to, you know, start collecting cans there and she'd meet us back later. Well, I went down the hill, I picked up a few cans and walked about 20 feet up the canyon a little and seen, discovered the bones. Just lying there out in the yeah, open? just lying, too, too like, they were like leg bones, two long leg bones. I picked one up, you know, just, just to see if it was a bone, it was, and I set it back down, picked up a stick, started, you know, moving in the area of the plywood where the body was, you know, there's, you know, bones all underneath the plywood, all scattered up, you know, above the skull. And I must have triggered something because the skull felt, you know, come rolling down. And then that's when I just kind of sat there for a minute and started screaming for my friend. Was it in a real wooded area or bushy or was it open? Well, it wasn't too wooded. You know, it wasn't open. You know, it was like the canyon with the trees on the side. You know, that was about it. So <laughs> that's all I can think. And this looked like what, a riverbed or? Uh, old creek bed, dried up creek bed. About like that, and then had um above the skull with some more bones of the um skeleton. So you definitely thought it was human. Oh yeah, it, there was no doubt about it. it you know, it, I couldn't say if it was a girl or a boy. You know, but I know it wasn't a man because it, the teeth were small. And, you know, it was weird. <laughs> Any clothes or anything else around? Mm -mm, just bones. Well, what did you think about this? <laughs> I didn't know what to think. I couldn't believe it. You know, I was just shocked. You know, going out collecting cans and find a body is just unbelievable. You know, it's... <laughs> so I ran up and got my friend, and he waved waved down a guy, and he went and called the cops. Was it pretty scary? Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely scary. You've been reading about the Green River. Oh yeah, stuff. for a long time. <clears throat> think that might be anything close? Well, I'm not sure if it is or not. You know. The, the cops ain't even sure just yet, but I have a pretty good feeling it might be because you know it's in the it's in the area and it's you know it looks like a woman, but it could be you know a, a little kid too that you know washed up out there in the creek somewhere. So would you go back there again? If it wasn't there, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Stand right there for just a sec. We'll take a couple. Cut them. Red, red Probably hydration. Sure. Sure, did you just come up for air and you're going back at this spot? I am. You can be in there. I can be in there? You can be in there. Huh. I can be your spot. You can have that spot. I like it. Right. Or Sandy? No, it's sick. Oh, well, you're gonna use a rack focus with Mikey's shoulder, this Hawaiian yeah. shirt? Yeah, that'll be nice. shirt. 
up here today and uh, then whatever questions you have afterwards we'll discuss that okay your name I'm lieutenant Nolan in a well in first Dan fire when ready okay uh, we received a call or the King County Police Department received a call from fire district 44 which is right up the street here about six blocks they had uh, been contacted by some young people who had been walking through this ravine looking for aluminum tin cans they were collecting garbage and cleaning the ravine out and they came upon what appeared to them to be some human remains and they went up to the fire district and asked a fireman to come down and the fireman came down and looked at the remains and saw a skull there and uh, immediately called the police department uh, we came out looked at the remains and verified that they were in fact human remains uh, that was about four o'clock yesterday afternoon we had uh, officers here on guard securing the scene last night we began our search this morning at eight o'clock uh, at this point i can tell you that the remains are human remains the sex is undetermined at this time we'll know more about the sex and age of the victim uh, sometime late this afternoon or early this evening. I can't give you a time frame on that because I have no idea at this point how long it will take us to process the scene. How much of the body have you found and how long do you think those bones have been there? It appears as if the bones have been there anywhere from 18 months to two or two and a half years based on a preliminary statement by the medical examiner who's here with us now. Uh, Again, they have a much better idea when they get back in the lab at the uh, ME's office and take a look in a quieter environment, they can tell us better. Are you treating this as a, a, a Green River case right now? Well, we're treating it as a Green River case. Uh, as most of you are probably aware, anytime King County Police finds any skeletalized remains, uh, the task force comes out to look at them to just because of the expertise we've developed in outdoor crime processing uh, whether or not it's a green river victim yet is speculative what is what is the evidence so far that suggests that it might be well it's within uh, the uh, area that the green river killer has been active in. obviously we found victims uh, as close as a mile and a half from here and as near then as as two and three miles from here uh, mount view cemetery is directly back west of us off of highway 18 uh, we found remains uh, all up Highway 18 to I-90. So it's certainly within the realm of possibility that this is a Green River victim. However, we can't say that at this point. Well, isn't it unusual that uh, you'd find a body so close to the road? 
No, we found uh, other Green River victims' remains as close to this to the road. Many? Do you know how many? Uh, I would say at least six. Yeah, what, fac what factors will determine whether or not this is a Green River case? Uh, well, the first thing that would determine it obviously is uh, the identification of the victim and the medical examiner is able to do this and we look at our list of missing victims uh, and determine whether or not the uh, remains are those of a Green River victim. Do you have enough to determine the sex and the age and the identification? Not at this point, no. The uh, remains are fairly well covered over with uh, sedimentary debris, leaves, sticks, rocks, and those kinds of things. There were uh, some long bone parts, leg bones, uh, that were easily seen by the, uh, the people that originally found the remains. Uh, the skull was intact and it's, it's found also, but at this point we don't know the sex or age of the, uh, of the remains. If say the remains are between uh, one and a half and two years old, would that put it in the right time frame to be a victim? A Green River victim? It certainly could, yeah. Did you find anything else besides the bones? Any other articles of clothing? Uh, nothing's been found at this time. What are they uh, looking for, the search and rescue folks? The search and rescue... Uh, ...a fairly substantial state in terms of how a corpse might be laid out. Does it appear that the... Uh, the corpse was animal activity and weathering occurs. Uh, obviously, this gully has uh, had a lot of water through it. I think that's considered the remains of speed there. I think uh, uh, I'll certainly be taking a very hard look at whether or not we don't know how much brush, how much trees were growing along this pond. Whether they used a grater or a cat or a back hose or whatever, it's just really difficult to speculate that they may or may not have seen the remains in there. Obviously they didn't because we didn't get a call. It didn't, it didn't does it look at all like you may have been buried? From the way their bones are displayed right now, it doesn't indicate that they were.
where kids, they have the taste of him talking to the psychiatrist, and it's really called dual personality. Yeah, that was great. That was perfect. dog and car. But you can't do that without smiling. Pretty hard, isn't it? Uh-uh. Pretty bitching, man. Pretty bitching? Pretty bitching. Yep. Pretty bitching. <laughs> you want to use my tripod? Get this shot?
That's a classic, isn't it? 